All right, in this list, the next one's going to be water temperature. Tell us about water temperature. I know that seems like such a, a dumb, simple thing. Every, again, everyone says they have a temperature gauge, but it goes deeper than that. It really does. Again, it can be a warning sign for something that's uh, going wrong with the engine. It's also critical, too, for the sake of consistency. You want to make sure that your engine's at the same temperature every time, so you're making the same power every time, especially in certain categories like superclass racing where consistency is critical. You know, one of the things that we find uh, over the years of doing this, what, 31 years, not us personally, uh, that data, this information, it holds clues, like you said, to other things. In other words, it may take three or four sensor channels to piece together what happened because data can be preventative, it can be for performance enhancement, it can be a lot of things. So, like you said, if you blow the motor up, you may have to backtrack and start looking at information from three or four different channels to figure out why it happened. That'll help save you money in the future. Right. The idea is to tell, um, to take a look at the story that these sensors are trying to tell you. If you have a combination of low oil pressure and we're, we've got high engine temperature, uh, maybe we probably should sit out this next lap and figure out what's wrong with the car. Right.